Come for a ride with me, my cherished companions! Uh, this is the second of my video series. Uh, as you know, if you have seen the first, uh, perhaps you have not, perhaps you are just joining us. Go, go back and watch the first, uh, I, I implore. But uh, as, as for those of you who want a quick catch up, um, this is the series where I, I talk of my autobiographical experience as a gaming connoisseur in uh, the peasant times that we find ourselves. And uh, you know, the universal themes that come out of this will resonate with um, most people, I think. Uh, certainly this is my hope. And of course, uh, I do not have the time. I am a, a grown up with many uh, responsibilities. I am not a, an American college student in a dorm room. Um, you know, speaking into Twitter whilst I play Dota all day. Uh, I don't mean to disrespect those people, of course, it is a different life stage. Uh, I honor you, I applaud you, uh, perhaps you will hit the like button for me as well. Um, anyway, um, I'm joking about the like button, I'm not doing this for the applauded, so we'll come to this later. Um, uh, so, uh, last time, um, oh no, I skip a bit, um, as you know, I don't have the time to, to capture footage of myself playing games, um, or doing uh, entertaining things, such as going to a festival uh, for gaming, um, dressed as a popular character, such as uh, Captain Blood, uh, no, I am here, driving in my car, this is where you can find me, this is where I have the time, uh, so this is where my videos take place, and I hope you enjoy the city, uh, it's a summer day, not as sunshine bright as yesterday, um, but a summer day, uh, still, anyway, um, I, there are things I must address, this is, this is part two, um, my last video was part one of my, my uh, dialogue about the history of and delivery of digital media and, and how that has shaped the experience of the gamer um, and how it has shaped me as a person and the way that has affected my life. Um, but of course, um, last time uh, I, my battery on the mobile phone I use uh, to record these things it ran out. Uh, it was my first time, um, so I hope you will forgive me for this amateurish approach. Um, I want to thank everyone who has been in touch, who was concerned that I had been involved in some sort of automobile accident. Um, I'm glad to say this was not the truth. Um, and I certainly hope I am not involved in an accident today. Um, but yeah, let's let's just hope that that is, is not what happens. Um, you don't know, do you? Anything can occur on the road. It's not just about me. It's about uh, the Jaisers. Uh, maybe some. Uh, maybe this driver in front has not slept well. Uh, I certainly hope that that is not the case. Anyway, um, I need to address a few a few items of concern uh, that people have brought up. Uh, following my last video, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed to say that the reaction in the uh, uh, internet gaming community, of, of which I, I, I identify myself as a part, um, the reaction has been uh, somewhat mixed, um, mostly because uh, there was disappointment that I spent uh, much time discussing and speculating on the rehabilitation of camels uh, following a serious spinal injury and not enough discussing the actual history of uh, uh, the de delivery of digital media. Um, but, you know, a curious thing though, uh, for as much uh, negative response and feedback as I have had over that, I have had a lot of positive response from people who uh, also uh, were interested in, in uh, the health of camels. Um, many people have asked me uh, what I know about this subject and uh, I can only repeat uh, what I said in the video. Uh, I am not aware of any type of uh, rehabilitation center for injured camels. Um, I have no more news to add on this and uh, this was not my intention to explore these subjects as part of my video series so uh, you must forgive me but uh, uh, I have decided not to research that any further. Um, I'm repeating myself, I know this is mostly for those of you who were not able to attend uh, my personal appearance at uh, the Dorset Heavy Horse uh, Show Ground. Um, 
and I'd like to just uh, point out actually, if those of you who are not aware, that I have gained a certain amount of internet notoriety and uh, celebrity amongst uh, the, the staff owners and uh, um, regular visitors of Shire Horse Centers uh, for my endorsement. Um, I just, I'm very pleased that there's such an active online community. Uh, again, it is, was not my intention, but I'm enjoying uh, getting to know you and uh, I look forward to meeting more of you at uh, the Scarborough um, Shire Horse Centre um, Faith that is coming up soon. I forget the date. Uh, check their Twitter, I'm sure, so that uh, they will keep you updated on there. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. Something else to clear up. Um, I, I was talking about uh, um, my experience of uh, Shire Horse Retirement Home as a child, and I said, uh, I believe I said quite clearly, uh, I reminisced about small children um, feeding a Shire Horse polo mint from the open palm of their hand. Um, many people seem to think I was talking of small children who fit inside the hole of a polo mint. Uh, I do not quite understand how you came to this, uh, how you came to this conclusion. Uh, it certainly wasn't my intention. Um, and you know, really, it's, actually, it's very impractical. Um, you could only fit a child through the hole in a polo mint if it is with fetal and uh, to do that would, would require uh, incredible surgical skill and uh, to consider it is, is quite barbaric and quite monstrous and uh, not something that I wish to, to give more airtime to. Um, but uh, so thank you for your interest. If you are watching this video then uh, you are indeed my cherished companion and I thank you for that. Um, so oh, we are coming to um, Apologies to you all. Are, I'm coming to my destination, so uh, I will have to cut it short. Um, I do have a lot to say about the history and uh, and um, of, and changes in the delivery of digital media. I, I hope you will will stay tuned. Um, that is a very outdated expression when you think about it, isn't it? Stay tuned. Try to not tune in my web browser in order to watch videos. Um, but uh, let me think of a better one, a more modern expression that uh, conveys the same um, conveys the same meaning without uh, giving way to uh, um, meaningless cliches like "Oh, sub hit subscribe!" I'm doing this for the subscribers. Oh, please visit my Patreon um, website and donate, and I'll put your name in the credits. I will. I will. Um, that is not me. That is not my intention. This is an act of crisis. Um, I want to talk about these things, uh, and I can do it as I'm on the road. But uh, I now I am uh, coming off the road, so I cannot do it any longer. Um, please bear with me. Uh, please uh, check the channel uh, for the next installment when we will uh, definitely uh, consider the history uh, and delivery of digital media and how that. That has changed the gaming world. Um, thank you. Goodbye, my chess companions.